Seattle. Seattle is a dynamic and versatile city with many nicknames, such as the Emerald City, the Gate to Alaska, and the City of Rains. Bill Gates and Jimi Hendrix were born there, and Kurt Cobain composed his hits. Starbucks' first cup of coffee was brewed here, and Boeing was founded. Seattle's versatility is mind-blowing. In this video, we will explore the must-see places in the City of Rains. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell to get the newest videos from Scantrip first. Pike Place Market Buy seafood and souvenirs in the six-story building of the Pike Place Market in the city's business center. Opened on the 17th of August, 1907, the market quickly became a genuine attraction in this district. It's not just a place to sell your fishing and farming goods, it's an original art platform. Here you can see street actors, singers, and clowns perform. Even salesmen frequently throw a real show for their buyers called Flying Fish. They delicately throw fish at one another in full view of enthusiastic visitors. Seattle Center and Space Needle As an exquisite futuristic tower resembling a spaceship, it is one of the main symbols of Seattle and its most recognizable object. It features the revolving Sky City restaurant below the observation deck which makes a complete 360-degree twist in 47 minutes. Thus, you can explore Seattle while sitting at the table. The Seattle Center also includes the Museum of Pop Culture, the Chihuly Garden and Glass, the Pacific Science Center, and the Armory, also known as the Center House. This is where the Seattle Center monorail begins. Seattle Waterfront A huge Ferris wheel, an aquarium, and various gift shops complete this enchanting atmosphere worthy of the brush of the best urbanists and marine painters. To fully enjoy this atmosphere, you can get a takeaway at one of the local cafes and go to the park on the waterfront. Kubota Garden It is one of the best places in Seattle to enjoy nature. The garden is designed in a traditional Japanese style, but it features plants typical of the western United States. Miniature waterfalls, backwaters, ponds, and exotic plants are located on nearly 8 hectares of artificially created valleys and hills. Woodland Park Zoo Seattle Woodland Park Zoo covers 37 hectares. Nowadays, more than 1,000 animals live here. The exposition of the zoo looks as natural as possible and creates a complete feeling of natural conditions. Be ready to devote the whole day to this place, as time will definitely run unnoticed here. Cary Park This famous place often graces the front pages of tourist brochures, as all of Seattle's iconic landmarks are visible from here. It also attracts the attention of filmmakers. Cary Park overlooks the Seattle Towers, the Ferris Wheel and Space Needle, Puget Sound, and Mount Rainier. To enhance the experience, come here in the evening when the city shines with streetlights and intricate lighting of buildings. Columbia Center This building was constructed in 1985, but it remains the tallest building in Seattle and one of the largest on the entire west coast of the United States. The height of the skyscraper is 285 meters. Once you reach the 73rd floor, you can find an observation deck. It is higher than the Space Needle, so the views are even more impressive here. Most people who climb both attractions recommend using the Columbia Center to enjoy breathtaking city views. Gasworks Park This park exemplifies how abandoned industrial facilities can be turned into public places without huge costs. There was a plant on the northern shore of the Lake Union that was turning brown coal into gas. Over time, it was out of exploitation. Thus, the pumping station has become a children's entertainment hall. Nowadays, the former factory is a place for recreation and a monument to an industry that has gone into the past. Besides, it is probably the strangest park in the world. University of Washington Seattle is home to the main and largest branch of the university, featuring the Suzalo Library, made accordingly to the collegiate Gothic style, the statue of George Washington, and the broken obelisk sculpture. 
This is the so-called Red Square of the Universe, where mass events, festivals, and concerts are held. The main buildings of the University of Washington in Seattle are considered one of the most beautiful buildings in the United States and have become a backdrop for movies more than once. Smith Tower and Pioneer Square Before the construction of the Space Needle, the Smith Tower had been the tallest building in the city, 143 meters, when it was built in 1914. The Smith Tower stands in Pioneer Square, where modern Seattle began. It is worth paying attention to the 18-meter Indian totem installed on the square and the beautifully twisted arbor made of steel and cast iron dating to 1909. Amazon Spheres In 2018, Amazon installed a unique structure near its office. The structure is in the form of three huge glass spheres, similar to coalescing soap bubbles. They became city decorations, and the people call them Bezos Balls. This is a sculptural composition and a recreational place for the company's employees. It is widely known as a multi-story indoor botanical garden, which houses thousands of plants. According to some reports, the construction cost Amazon $4 billion. The Boeing Everett Factory The famous American corporation, founded by William Boeing, was established in Seattle in 1916. During the 90-minute factory tour and visit to the Future of Flight Aviation Center, you will learn a lot from history and see the various stages of production of aircraft models. Starbucks Reserve Roastery and Tasting Room Starbucks was founded in 1971 in Seattle, and this city is rightfully considered the birthplace of the culture of coffee consumption. The Seattle Coffee Restaurant on Pine Street, Capitol Hill is a must-see. In Starbucks Reserve Roastery Coffee Shops, you will enjoy tastings of aromatic drinks with croissants, pizzas, delicious salads, and exquisite alcohol. You will see unforgettable performances where coffee beans are roasted in giant roaster ovens. Lake Union Lake Union was formed by a glacier approximately 12,000 years ago. Union is a popular tourist destination for picnics and enjoying the stunning scenery. From here, you can fly to the west coast of Canada by seaplane. If you want extraordinary views of Seattle, rent a kayak or pleasure boat. Olympic National Park The Olympic National Park in Seattle includes almost 400,000 hectares of forests, alpine meadows, and beautiful lakes. Besides, cozy beaches can be found in the coastline area. The center of this national composition is the Olympic Mountains. An excursion to these places can smoothly turn into dinner accompanied by the cooting of an owl and the scream of coyotes, or it can end with a noisy forest shower. Mount Rainier Seattle can be an excellent starting point for exploring the dormant Mount Rainier, located 90 kilometers from the city. The last eruptions and volcanic activity were recorded here at the end of the 19th century. The probability of the awakening of the giant exists constantly. In summer, you can wander along the numerous paths and admire the flowering plants. Such a combination of colors cannot be found everywhere. In winter, skiing and snowboarding are tremendously popular activities in this destination. The National Register of Historic Places in the United States includes at least 150 attractions in Seattle. How can you see all of them? There is only one solution. You have to enjoy every day in Seattle and plan a new trip to explore the world and make memories. And what place do you want to visit in Seattle first? Let us know in the comments section.